Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding two brackets with thirds where subsequent simplification of thirds is required. So we want to expand and simplify these two brackets here. Now we saw in a previous video how to multiply out two brackets with thirds. The difference here is that we're going to have to simplify some thirds after. So let's do what we did before. We multiply each thing in the first bracket by each thing in the second bracket. That's how we expand two brackets. So this first thing in this first bracket, we're going to multiply by each of the things in the second bracket. Let's do that first. Well, we've got the root 8 times the root 2. Remember, when we multiply two thirds together, we just multiply the numbers. Root 8 times root 2 is root 16. And let's not simplify it yet. We'll do that on the next line. And we've got the root 8 times the negative 3. I do the sign first. Positive times negative is negative. And root 8 times 3 is 3 root 8. We always put the non-third first, the thing without the square root over it. And now we do this second thing in this first bracket, the plus 3 multiplied by each thing in the second bracket. So we've got the 3 times the root 2 is just positive 3 root 2. And we've got 3 times minus 3, which is negative 9. This is the point where I start to simplify some stuff. Now the square root of 16, 16 is a square number, so it's just 4, isn't it? The 3 root 8, well, to check whether third can simplify, we always see there's a square factor other than 1 that goes into it. Can we think of a square number that goes into 8? Well, yes, there is. 4 goes into 8. So that means, remember, we write the root 8 as root 4 root 2. We put that square number first, and then we think, well, 4 times what is 8? Well, it's 2. So we saw that in a previous video. The 3 root 2 remains as 3 root 2, and then the minus 9 remains as minus 9. Now we can simplify this further. The square root of 4 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6, so it's 6 root 2. We still got these terms here. And at this point, we can sort of collect like terms, just like we would with algebra, except here we collect the non thirdy terms together, the things without the square root, and we collect the thirdy terms together. Now 4 minus 9 is just minus 5. And then minus 6 lots of root 2 plus 3 lots of root 2 is minus 3 lots of root 2. And in fact, if you were to type this into a calculator, it would give you this simplified expression. So if you have a calculator, you can check whether you've got it right.